this uh, video tutorial i am going to tell you about uh, different versions of java if you are a beginner of java programming then maybe you will not uh, get clear idea about few terms in this tutorial but don't worry about that uh, i just suggest that just go through this tutorial you will get some idea about different versions of java and their comparison here we go this is the complete list of uh, java versions which are currently available and uh, these two versions is about to release in future so if you see this list of uh, versions then these first three versions you will see that this is jdk jdk and jdk and after that you will see j2ac 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 and after this seventh version you will see java 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 and java so i just divide this whole versions in three categories one is jdk jdk means java development kit and j2ac java 2 standard edition and simply java 6 java 7 and so on so here we will see one by one the different version of java this is the initial version java development kit alpha and beta and it is released in 1995 basically they are just first release of uh, java so they are having highly unstable apis and abis and java also supplied a web browser was named uh, web runner which support the java so after that java immediately released the next version in 23 january 1996 this is jdk 1.0 java development kit 1.0 and this version is originally called oak and it is the first stable version of java and uh, one more internal version is released that was uh, jtk 1.0.2 it is called java 1 and after that the new version jdk 1.1 released in 19 february and the major addition included in this version is retooling of awt components awt is used to develop the window applications and inner classes concepts are uh, introduced java beans are introduced jdbc is java database connectivities is introduced and rmi remote method invocation is introduced reflection is introduced and jit just in time compiler for microsoft windows platform was introduced in this version so these three versions are base version of java now next come to the j2ac 1.2 this was released on 8th december 1998 and the code name was playground this and subsequent release through j2s 5.0 were rebranded to java 2 and the version named j2ac java 2 platform standard edition why the java team changed the name because they want to replace because to distinguish the base platform from this version java is available in three different editions j2ac java 2 platform standard edition j2 double e java 2 platform enterprise edition and j2me java 2 platform micro edition standard edition is used to develop the console type and windows type application and enterprise edition is used to develop basically web application and micro edition is used to develop mobile type applications or we can say handhold device applications and now the major edition included in this version a swing graphics api was introduced into the core classes since jvm was equipped with jit compiler for the first time jvm means java virtual machine and java plugin were introduced in this version java plugins are basically java applets and java idl was introduced idl is basically interface development language and an idl implementation for corba incorporability were introduced and collection framework was also introduced in this version now next version is j2ac 1.3 it was released in 8 may 2000 and the code name was kestrel the most notable changes were uh, java hot spot is the java virtual machine for desktop and servers rmi was modified to support optional compatibility with corba corba is common object request broker architecture and java naming and directory interface included in core library java platform debugger architecture java sound classes synthetic proxy classes were introduced in this version now the next version is java 2 standard edition 1.4 and it is released in 6th february 2002 the code name was marlin 
This was the first release of the Java platform developed under the Java community process. The major changes included regular expressions, exception chaining, internet protocol version 6 support, login API, image IO API, integrated XML parser, integrated security and cryptography extensions, Java web start, preferences API. Now the next version is Java 2 standard edition 5.0. It was released on 30th September 2004 and the code name was Tiger and original numbered 1.5 and the number was changed to better reflect the level of maturity, stability, scalability and security of J2SE. And the new features introduced in this version is uh, generics, metadata, autoboxing, unboxing, enumeration, variable length arguments and enhance for each loop were introduced and many more other features were introduced in this version. Now the next version of Java is Java Standard Edition 6 and it was released on 11th December 2006 and the code name was Mustang and as of this version Sun replaced the name J2AC with Java Standard Edition or you can say Java AC and dropped the point zero from the version number. After that, uh, all the version are like uh, Java SC6, Java SC7 and so on. And the major changes included in this version, it provides support for older Windows 9x version dropped, provides backward compatibility with operating and scripting language support, improved web services support through JX, WX and uh, JDBC 4.0 support, Java compiler APIs, Many GUI improvements were also introduced in this version and many more new things uh, were also introduced in this version. And the next version is Java SE 7 or uh, simply Java 7 and it was released on 28th July 2011. The code name is Dolphin and uh, the major addition in this version include JVM support for dynamic language, compressed 64-bit pointer, string in which were introduced and automatic resource management in try statement, improved type interface for generic instance creation and the diamond operator, simplified variable arguments method declaration, binary integer literals allowing underscore in numeric literals, catching multiple exception types and rethrowing exception with improved type checking new file IO input output library and many more additions in this version. Now Java standard edition 8 and it was released on 18th March 2014 and it is the latest version till now and Java 8 it includes some features that were planned for Java 7 but later to redefined. Work on features was organized in terms of JDK enhancement proposal. Now next version is Java SC 9 and it is scheduled for September 2016. This version is going to include better support for multi gigabyte heaps, better native code integration, a self-tuned JVM, automatic parallelization using OpenCL. We will be going to introduce Oracle Corporation is also planning for Java Standard Edition 10. There is a speculation of introducing objects without identity as well as moving towards the 64-bit addressable array to support large data set and this version is expected somewhere around 2018. So these are the all versions of Java and I have tried to introduce each of them with uh, their uh, new features and thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share it and uh, subscribe in my YouTube channel and interesting videos.